Alright, so welcome back here everybody. And in what is going to be the last lesson here, we're ready to go ahead and finish up our code and add three more buttons to our script so that we can delete our top image, our front image, and our side image. So, the easiest way that I think that we can do this is simply through a menu bar. And we're going to add a menu bar here to our, our window. So let's go ahead and bring back our Maya 2011 online documentation and let's take a look here at what an example of a menu bar is okay so window window menu bar with 200 we need the menu bar code here and the true just to make sure that we actually have this code um, to make sure that we really will have a menu bar so we need that part of the code so let's go ahead and bring back our script editor here scroll to the top here and we'll just copy and paste that menu bar true right before the sizable one command okay we also are going to need the menu label and the tear off true just so that you can tear it off if, um, if you wish so we can go ahead and put that one line underneath of the CG image studio name for the window Okay. Instead of having it named file, we will go ahead and call it the delete images. Okay. And then the last one that we're going to need here is the menu item. Okay. So let's copy and paste that and see what this does. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this in here. So the menu item here is going to be corresponding to what would be the side image. So if we go ahead and put this as side image Okay, and we go ahead and copy and paste this twice because we're going to want it for the top image and also for the front image. Okay, so let's go ahead and put top, oop, top image, and then we'll take this third one. And we will call this the front image. Let's go ahead and run this and see what happens you can see that we now have the side image, top image, front image but we should probably also have the um, delete command in front of that side, delete top, delete front so we can just simply edit that code real quick okay, so I'll just simply put delete on all three of those and see if that actually looks a little bit better and I believe that that actually looks um, a little bit better so let's go ahead here and take a look at tearing that off and that's the tear off command true there okay so we can go ahead and close that bring back our script editor here let's go ahead now and find out how we can go ahead and actually delete these images so we're just going to use the same process here as importing those images we're going to use a command so we'll go ahead and just simply copy the command for our side image here okay we'll just paste this but we'll call this um, our side just so that this is gonna remove side okay go ahead and copy this paste this in for our remove top so that we actually have the ability to go ahead and remove top and then we'll paste this in for our last one here which will be remove front so now we have the ability to go ahead and remove our side top and front so let's go down and make our global procedures for those so just right below the global procedure import front image we'll call this global proc and just making sure that we have the R side, R top, R front. So it's going to be R side. Open curly bracket, close curly bracket. Do the same thing here for the R top. Okay. And one more for the remove front. Okay, so now that we have those commands 
and those procedures set. We just need to put the code in here um, to go ahead and actually delete those. So let's find out how we can go ahead and do that. And the easiest way is I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the top portion of my script editor. Go ahead and grab my image tool that we've created here. Go ahead and grab our side. Bring it in. Okay. And we will go ahead and bring the script editor back here. Clean it up. Echo all commands. Go ahead and select it. Hit delete. So we need to select our command. Select our side. Do delete. So we can just copy the select our side. Go ahead and just clean the bottom portion of the script editor here for that. Go ahead and paste that. Go ahead and grab the command there for the do delete. Go ahead and paste that in there. Okay. And I will go ahead and copy both of these. Turn off our echo all commands here. Jump back to where we've been coding our tool scroll down to where we are going to global procedure remove side we'll go ahead and paste that in let's go ahead and close our tool there go ahead and open a new scene or start a new scene real quick hit control a to test our code to make sure that everything comes up let's import our side image test it to see if it actually removes it and it's not actually removing it there and let me see why it's not in Okay, so I think it has to be the actual side shape. Just to make sure, select our side, do delete. So let's just make sure that this is actually correct. Okay, so let's go ahead and start a new command here. It actually isn't deleting it, so um, I think I need to refine the actual code here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and um, refine the command. Just make sure that everything here is actually being renamed correctly. Okay, so we need to go ahead and actually select the R side image. So go ahead and move that. Go ahead and clean our command there. Make sure that it's actually selecting the side image and not the actual camera, as I believe that was doing there. And I'm just looking to see where it's actually selecting that side image plane. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean that up just to make sure that this is actually selecting the correct one here. And I think I might actually have to do this in the actual side image. Yep, actually have to select that in the actual side image here so go ahead and just hit view image plane attributes just make sure that that's all clean before we go ahead and do that and sometimes my just has a little bit of buggage so image plane side image and we can see now that the side image is getting selected here it should be here somewhere at the top. Yep, select side image, show editor side image. Go ahead and copy that code. And we will just paste that over the select our side. Okay, so now we can go ahead and test that. I'm just going to turn off the echo all commands. Go ahead and clean the top there. 
select our side go ahead and run it and you can see where that image gets um, deleted so I know that this is the code that we can go ahead and use so we'll go ahead and copy and paste this into our select our side and so now we can go ahead and test to make sure that this code actually works properly so let's go ahead and hit control A to highlight all of it run it go ahead and import our side image go ahead and delete our side image and you can see where there's nothing in the scene here so we'll go ahead and do this again just to make sure that it's going to work for sure so there you go um, that's basically the same process that I used to go ahead and create my image studio tool um, and we just want to go ahead and uh, use the same procedure to go ahead and delete the top and the front so if you want to go ahead and do that all you're going to have to do is come in here and take the select side image okay go ahead and paste this into your R top also into your R front and then you'll just rename the side image to front image oh, I'm sorry I can't actually have the front image in the R top so go ahead and put the top image okay top and in the front one here we'll go ahead and put the front image and front image for this one as well okay let's go ahead and test to make sure that this is gonna work so we'll just start a new scene go ahead and import our side go ahead and import our top go ahead and import our front and let's just make sure that these are gonna delete properly so now we have all three of those in the scene let's go ahead and delete our side delete our top and delete our front so there you go um, you not only have the ability here to go ahead and bring in your side top and front image but also to delete your side top and front so um, there's a basic image studio tool to go ahead and bring in your own images um, I'm gonna give you guys the code as well uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the tutorial um, I know it's been fairly basic but like I said I'm not much of a coder um, but you get the you should get the general idea on how to go ahead and develop a little tool like that to go ahead and bring in an image studio or your images to go ahead and model from. Um, I definitely want to give a big thanks out to Ben Tate for allowing me to go ahead and bring this tutorial to you guys. Um, if you have any questions definitely email me. Um, you can always check us out on Facebook as well at Sean Keenan on Facebook or at uh, www.mcpstudios.com. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.